today we are going to learn about SOAP protocol. Um, SOAP is SOAP protocol is used to access web services and uh, SOAP stands for simple object access protocol. Okay, the protocol is based on XML and uh, SOAP was designed by in 1998 by David Winner, Don Box, Bob Attinson and Mohsin. Okay, this is how the architecture of the SOAP works. That is the client, okay, the client puts the entire request, that is uh, if I want to have a credit card transaction, that is um, the name, credit card details, CVV2, expiry date, amount of a transaction, it will be put in the, the request and it will be sent on the web you okay to the service provider okay it will reach the bank and bank will take it and look at the soap message and get the input what the customer wants and process the required details and response back this is a service okay and response back again in the soap format to the client okay so the entire request will be put in an XML and it will be sent on web, on internet to the service provider, right? Okay, if you can look at the slide. If you want to get the approval or decline status for credit card transaction from the bank using SOAP, okay, SOAP is a simple object access protocol, that is the input and output will be in the form of XML. Okay, following steps to be done or will be executed. In in client module, write the details about the customer details like credit card, account number, expiry date, CVV2 in SOAP format. As I said before, that you write all the details, credit card details, into an XML file and in an SOAP format. SOAP is a format in an using XML, right? So the SOAP message is sent on web to web service which provides the desired service. For example, if it's a banking transaction, then I will put all the like you know uh, the details of the credit card and send it to the bank. Okay. So the web service unpacks the SOAP message and convert into a command that the application can understand. Application will get the that is application here in our example, application will get the credit card information, does the required processing and generates the response either approval or decline status in SOAP message. That is what happens, the, uh, the bank will get the SOAP message as a request and it will see, it will like you know convert back to a command and understand what is the input required, what is the input given and what uh, output is required Then it will call the corresponding method. The method will perform the required operation and generate the response back in SOAP format and the SOAP message is sent back to the client, right? Again, the SOAP message will be sent back to the client and client unpacks the SOAP message and gets the required information. That is, the client gets the information in SOAP format and take the like output which is there in the SOAP format, okay, and understands it. So, if you look at the client and server transaction is happening through you in SOAP format. That is, all the details has been put in XML in SOAP format and sent to the server. Server looks at it, understands what the input is given, understands what uh, what is expected by the client, looks, processes it, and responds again back in the SOAP format, and client receives it. Right. So this is one architecture using web service. SOAP is one one protocol used on web services. It's the diagram, right? The client will send in the SOAP format to the web, uh, on the web to the web service, and uh, the process. Okay, the server processes it and responds back again. Okay, to the client module. Okay, some of the files generated in uh, SOAP is whatever the service we have to write. It will be writing in uh, the Java. Okay, and we have a WSDL file. Okay, WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language. That says that file shows what are the services provided in the Java code. Okay, so what are the services provided, and uh, uh, what is the input required? What is the output required? 
like this and using visitor file the client can generate okay or write the web service and connect to the server 